recent report says enrollment in the nearly 6,000 Catholic schools in the United States has shown growth for the second consecutive year. According to the National Catholic Educational Association, there are now 1.69 million students in Catholic schools. That is an increase from the previous year's 1.63 million. That said, it is still short of pre-pandemic levels. We go now to Lincoln Snyder, president and CEO of the National Catholic Educational Association. Lincoln, great to have you with us today. So what do you think those numbers say? I mean, what does that say to you? The numbers say that a lot of new families have discovered our Catholic schools. We saw a, a drop in enrollment and record, number, uh, record numbers of people moving. And as, so if people has, have moved from different places to new spots, They've been selecting Catholic education, and so we, we've seen not only a growth in our population, but a lot of new families that perhaps weren't as connected to the church or that are new to their area coming to our schools. That's great. So with this record enrollment, um, at, you know, that some are seeing, can you tell us or, or do you happen to know, you know, which parts, parts of the country are doing well? Indeed. Uh, so we're seeing the greatest growth uh, by far in the southeast, and so that would be the southeastern states plus Florida. Uh, they are nearly 2 percent above what our enrollment was in 2019. And so that not only have they recovered their numbers, but they've grown from pre-COVID. And so I mean, we think that reflects long-term trends and migration anyway. A lot of people move from the northeast and the midwest to the southeast and south. And so, uh, you know, our school's population change reflects that. We've also seen growth in the Plain States. Uh, our Plain States uh, schools are up a bit from uh, 2019. So, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're we're seeing that our school trends reflects where people seem to be uh, moving as families post pandemic. Yeah, that is great. And I know um, numbers are up, but not where it was before uh, pre pandemic. Mm -hmm. Can you gauge maybe, you know, how the pandemic, what kind of impact that had on enrollment in Catholic schools and also the state of the economy right now? Is that factoring into anything? It is. You know, we, we saw, uh, again, a lot of families left uh, Catholic schools immediately when the pandemic started. There was a lot of economic anxiety. Uh, of course, um, for many families, the situation stabilized, but our population changed during that time. So enrollment's up, but a lot of these families are completely new to the Catholic, uh, to the Catholic educational system. We have record numbers of families who are not Catholic, for example, in our schools. Uh, we have 22 percent of our families in Catholic education. Uh, who are not Catholic right now. So that's a record number for us. Yeah. And, and I guess what does that say about Catholic education, uh, that you have people that aren't Catholic coming into Catholic schools? You know, we think that a lot of the families came to us because we were open. And so we provided schools that were open during the pandemic when most of the, their other options were closed. And so they saw us as, as a, an alternative to in-person education for their child. But our retention rates with these families, diocese to diocese, are well into the 90s, anywhere from 92 to 98 percent of those families that came during the pandemic stayed even when they could have returned to uh, the public school that they were at previously. The main reason that the families give for staying is that they fell in love with the community, with the teachers, and uh, with the environment that, that our faith-based community schools create for their children. That's incredible. Um, we have about a minute so or left, but where do you see this trend going in the coming years and where would you like to see it go? Uh, first and foremost, we think this is a really unique opportunity for us to uh, evangelize families. Uh, we have an open door to these families through Catholic schools to bring them closer to the Catholic Church. You know, we've, we've seen the numbers about um, changes in the number of people who are mass going uh, Catholics. Uh, our schools are really an, uh, an entree into the hearts of these families. They've, they've fallen in love with the communities and they're staying. And so we know that this is a real opportunity for us to evangelize. So we, they, they, they came, they fell in love with the schools, they're staying, and we hope that that's uh, a way to bring them into the church. I am optimistic that we're going to be able to continue our growth. Uh, again, we saw year over year growth, second year in a row. Uh, academic data has come back from NAEP that our schools are really performing as the best system in the country, according to public school data, uh, or public, sorry, government data that's been collected about schools. Uh, and so we have a quality product. People love the community, and uh, we are confident that Catholic schools have um, a tremendously positive reputation right now post pandemic. Now, Lincoln, great to be with you. Thank you so much. Lincoln Snyder, President and CEO of the National Catholic Educational Association. Thank you again.